in this first part of our unit study guide for circles, I'm going to be going through the first page where we're going to talk about circle parts and also area and circumference along with um, finding arc measures of around a circle. So in our first problem we are going to need to give an example of each circle part. So the center of our circle is where we in the very middle, which is P. Our radius, we have multiple options for radius. Our radius just means that it goes from the center to the edge of the circle. So we have either Pn, Pm, or Pl. Either of those work. And I'm going to use Pm. Make sure for your notation you put the bar above it with no arrows, indicating that it's a segment. For the diameter, you have to remember that a diameter goes from one edge of the circle all the way to the other edge of the circle, but the key part is it goes through the center. So we don't need all three letters, N, P, and L. We just need the end points, N and L. Again, it's a segment. Put your little bar over it. For the next question, a chord means that it touches the edge of the circle on both ends. Uh, it could go through the middle or it might not. So we have multiple options here. Um, M, L touches the uh, edges twice. N, L touches the edges twice. K, L also touches the edges twice. Now it's important to, note, to point out that chords are segments and not lines, so you're going to use the segment notation as well. So I'm going to use M, L for my chord. A secant is a little bit different than a chord. A chord is a segment, a secant is a line. Uh, so a secant goes outside the circle as well, but it touches in two spots. So we really only have one choice for a secant here. If you look at J to K to L, it's outside the circle, but then it touches twice at K and L. So I'm going to call that J, L. Oh, but you know what, on this figure, it's actually a segment, not a line. A tangent is going to start outside the circle, and it's going to touch the circle once. So if you look, our J is outside the circle, and if you trace from J to N, it only touches once. So we're going to go ahead and use JN as a tangent. The tangent point would be N. Central angles. Now central angles are an angle where the vertex is at the center. So we have multiple options here. The vertex needs to be at P. We have N, P, M, M, P, L. And that looks like that's about it for this one. So let's call it, uh, let's choose L, P, M. And this is an angle, so we need angle notation. Keep in mind, again, that your vertex, the middle letter, needs to be the center of your circle. An inscribed angle means that you're going to have your circle, and the angle, the vertex of the angle, will be at the edge. So let's go back and look at our diagram. We need to find an angle with the vertex at the edge of the circle. So we can choose KLN, NLM. You could choose KLM, you could choose LMP, any of those work. I'm going to go ahead and choose angle KLN. Keep in mind again that your vertex, which is L, for an inscribed angle, needs to sit at the edge of your circle. Now a minor arc is anything that is going to be less than 180 degrees. All right, so we're looking for along the edge of the circle, call it kind of think like the crust, and it has to be less than half a circle. So we have choices here. We have NM, ML, but we can't choose this one over here because it's a semicircle, which is 180 degrees. So let's choose NM or ML. Uh, let's go with ML. And the notation for an arc is, in, a minor arc has two letters. Notation for an arc has the curved symbol above it. A major arc is similar to a minor arc. It's going to use three points, and it's going to cover a piece of crust that is larger than 180 degrees. So, or I should say, greater than or equal to 180 degrees. So I'm going to choose, if I go from N all the way through L to M, that means I'm covering this whole section right here everything except NM. So I'm going to say arc NLM. 
Again, a major arc is 3 with a curve over it. A semicircle, again, is a half of circle, so we can say NML or NKL. All right, next section. We're looking for the area and circumference of the circle to the right. Um, the area formula and the circumference is 2 pi r. Area is pi r squared. In both these formulas, you need to know the radius. This right here is our diameter. We have to cut it in half. So 16.6 .6 divided by 2 is 8.3. If I plug it in this formula right here for circumference, I have 2 times pi times your radius, which is 8.3. I'm going to get out my calculator right here. Give me a minute. And if I plug in 2 times pi times 8.3, I should get approximately 52.1, and that's in meters. If I'm doing my area, I'm going to go pi times 8.3 squared, so I'm going to type that in. I'm going to get approximately 2. 16.3 on that one. And since we're doing area, it's going to be in units squared, so we're going to go meters squared. Next video, or next question, find the radius of a circle with circumference of 106.81 centimeters. So we're looking for the radius. They're giving us circumference, so we're going to use circumference formula. A circumference they're giving us is 106.81. Sorry about the fuzziness here equals 2 pi r. Uh, let's go ahead and to get our r, we're going to divide by 2 pi. So we're going to go it's going to be approximately 17 centimeters. Next one, find the diameter of a circle with an area of 95.03 square feet. Again, they're giving us area, so we're going to use area formula equals pi r squared. Our area they're giving us is this. So 95.03 equals pi r squared. If we divide by pi, That means that our radius squared is about 30.26. In order to undo that squared, I have to square root both sides. Let me get that function up here. It's going to be approximately 5.5. Five. However, they are looking for the diameter, and this is our radius. So to get diameter, it's about 5.5 .5 times 2, which would be about 11. 11 uh, feet we're talking about. All right, next question. They want us to find the circumference of a circle when they give us the area right here. So we need to use the circumference formula along with the area formula. So right now, we need to use our area to get the radius, so we can come over here and plug that radius in. So 254.47 is our area, equals pi r squared. Same thing like we did with the one above. We're going to divide out pi. So that means that uh, r squared is approximately 81. When I take the square root of that, r is approximately 9. Sorry about that. We're going to take our r over here, plug it into this equation to get our circumference. So circumference equals 2 times pi times our radius, which is 9. If I plug that in, that's going to be approximately 
56.5, uh, we're talking about inches here for, circ for circumference. Okay, the next one wants us to find the arc measure. Okay, so we need to find CD first, which is this piece right here. Well, what they're telling us is this is a right angle, which means that B to D is going to be 90. So we have to go 90 minus 53. It's going to be 37. Now i got to find AB. Well, what we do know is that from E all the way through A, B, and C is going to be 180 degrees. So if I add 79 and 53 first, It's 132, then I have to take it away from 180, which is a half circle. It's going to get me 48. Drop that down there. I need to know from E to D, so let's look. Well, I know that from E to C is going to be 180, and I know this piece is 37, so I'm going to do 180 minus 37. It's going to be 143. Okay, so now they want us to find EB. Well, here's E, here's B. If I go from E all the way through A to B, that's 79 plus 48. It's going to be 127. If I want to go from B through D to E, so I go from B through D to E, I'm going to add up 143 plus 37 plus 53 there. So that's going to get me 233. If I go from arc D, E, C, that means I'm going from, dark, from D through E all the way to C. Now if you look real closely at that, I'm going to go from D all the way around to C. So I'm going to go all the way through here. Well, it's almost the full circle minus the 37, so that's the easier way to go. You could add up all the other ones, but I'm going to go 360 minus 37. That's going to get me 323. That's all for the front page. Look out for the next page uh, review.